Hey everyone, welcome to Stack Snacks, where we try to make learning about AI simple and fun. I'm John Swicky, and today let's get into this new feature from Google called SGE while browsing. So SGE is, you know, an extension of their, their AI and their search. And now this is going to be carried over into your browsing. So if we look over here, you can kind of see this GIF of Chrome on a desktop and it has a little side panel now that you can activate where you can kind of get some key points from the page. It looks like you can get, you can like kind of go a little deeper on the page and it breaks things down into, into sections. I don't have it yet in my Chrome, but we can look at this other little, little example for mobile where you can kind of see there's an app going to be like a actually a bottom bar where you can actually generate these key points on a page and you can get you know you can get a summarization you can kind of go a little deeper I, I like that it kind of highlights things and goes straight to a point on the page and you know I think you know so this is still opt-in right now so it's just you know you have to you have to use their search labs feature and you know, I think it's it's interesting because this is the first time that we've seen kind of Google get into kind of running their AI on, on your properties. And you know, it you know, it's built into the browser. So obviously, you know, there's gonna they're gonna have some access to some features and, and things like that. But yeah, I mean I think it'll be really interesting to see, you know, how how well this works how people use it it does take up a good amount of space on a phone you know kind of that bottom bar down there is you know it's noticeable and what i found too over time their ai search once i turned it on i didn't use it right away but now that i got kind of you know kind of kind of faster i i stop and i find myself myself using it and playing around with it but the, you know this feels like a like a like a big shift and it also shows that they're not going to this product is going to keep kind of iterating and getting better but yeah i you know i i i'm surprised by this but also i think it's just where we're going right and i think it'll be fascinating to see so i don't know i do have it on my phone i don't have it on my desktop yet but on you know on mobile i wasn't it did only trigger in scenarios right so you definitely have to search inside of the Google app first. You can't use Chrome yet, but inside the Google app it works. But it's not every search. So there's definitely some that, you know, they don't have this everywhere yet. But, you know, if you guys opt in and start playing around, you know, let us know. I'm curious to see what people think of this. I'm I'm excited to play around with it yet. It feels like a little bit the, if we go back to the desktop thing. Yeah, I think I, I, think I would want more. I feel like on the desktop I'd want a little bit more. But, you know, I, you know, we'll see, you know, I think we'll see. And also too, it goes to, you know, it'll be interesting to see if it can, if it can't generate summaries, right. From your pages, does it find that content not to be useful or helpful? So we'll see where this goes. We'll see if this, where this, so if you play around with this, let us know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for joining us.